What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to bring you a video, or at least the best way to level up in season four based on all the information that we know post PTR and all the patch notes. So there was something that was brought to my attention that I completely overlooked in the dev stream. And it's something that's gonna really change how you play the game. So typically what we found out was is that hell tides are going to be the way that you level up the fastest in diablo 4 season 4 there isn't going to be any more domain tunnels domani domini dopamine there's going to be no more domain tunnels you're not going to have to run those there is no stronghold strategy that you're going to have to run like we did in season two there is nothing not even nightmare dungeons the best way that you're going to have to level is hell tides. Now, there's a few reasons why I'm telling you that hell tides are going to be there. I tested this in the PTR. We we started a brand new character and all we did was just level with the hell tides. That's it. Um, a big part of that is because if we go over here, hell tides have been like they're in world's tiers one and two. Okay. They're in, in hell tides one and two. So you can you literally start the game in hell tides as soon as you get it right like you're just going to be able to go in here let me go to hell tide real quick so hell tides are just in here from the get hell tide reborn you're going to be able to fight these in world tiers ones and twos but then at world tier three is when you could be hell marked okay you're going to generate the threat we've all seen this stuff and the hell tides have been increased all right you can a version of the hell tide has been introduced for world tiers ones and two super super uh awesome like insane right it's insane that the hell ties are here it's super super good now the reason that they're going to be so great is if you guys don't remember we do have an increase right like we have an increase in exp going into season four which is right here in the patch notes in world tiers two three and four so not world tier one if you are still playing on world tier one welcome to diablo as a brand new character otherwise you're going to be playing in world tiers two until you get to three and four. So world tier uh, two has been increased from 20% bonus XP to 50. And then world tier three is another 50. And then world tier two is another 50 on top of that. Or excuse me, world tier four. So in world tier two, you literally gain 30% bonus EXP. Now keep this in mind that now you're at 50%. You're going to get the additional 5% when you use an elixir, right? And then, obviously, if you're in a party, you're going to get more EXP for that. Now, typically, when you are leveling, you are not going to be fighting monsters that are, you know, uh, 10 levels higher than you. Because remember, 10 levels is the cap. If you fight a monster that's 10 levels higher than you, you've reached maximum bonus EXP. Obviously, when you're leveling, that's not going to happen. So, whatever your level is, plus 10 is just not going to work. But, Hell Tides are plus 3 levels. So hell tides give you, you know, monsters that are three levels higher than you, which is just enough of a gap in XP. The difficulty won't be too hard as we've tested. You will still be really, really strong if you follow any one of the leveling builds. And then you're also going to be able to just maximize your XP. Like it's going to be a really nice balance and it's going to make the leveling experience um, amazing, right? You're going to be able to just rack up tons and tons of EXP. Now, something else that was brought to my attention that i completely overlooked and this is why i'm going to tell you that after you get to world tiers three and four right normally when we get to world tiers three and four typically we would go into nightmare dungeons right because now we can really scale that 10 levels over um and then once you start getting glyphs at 50 plus you're going to be able to start leveling those up which glyph xp has been increased which is huge right so um Glyph XP has been increased by another 25%, which is awesome. So Glyph XP has been increased by 25%. This is fantastic because Nightmare Dungeons were a pain, and you're going to be able to just level your Glyphs really quick, and then you're going to be done with those, right? You're only going to have to do them for one other thing. But then the EXP rewards are good from Nightmare Dungeons. Uh, they've been increased, which is awesome. Uh, and even, or excuse me, not Nightmare Dungeons, but Dungeon Events. So you do have a little bit added value when you're doing the Dungeons, but... The fact that the glyphs have been increased by 25%, you'll be in and out. However, that's just going to be a separate activity 
what you want to be doing is hell tides. You're going to get too many rewards from doing the hell tides. Okay. And the reason for that, I got to give a big shout out to Wowhead here, um, is the profine, profane, excuse me, mine cage, this rare elixir. For the next hour, 60 minutes, hell tide monster level has been increased by 10 and your cinder drop rate and threat gain is also increased. However, you will not be able to use these in World Tiers 1 and 2 because they're capped at 50. But once you're in World Tiers 3 and 4, you increase the monster level by 10. So again, besides doing glyphs, now you the hell tides are 10 levels ahead and you get far more rewards by doing the hell tides. Right? You're killing all the monsters, you're going to get a lot more cinders, you're going to be able to open up way more uh, you know, chests that includes the what is it? The mystery chest and then your normal ones like your amulet chest and all those things. Now, how do we get the profane mind cage? That's the big thing, right? Because the profane mind cage is only going to come out of these events. So you can see here that with the new iron wolves assist, as you guys can see here, that these are like events that you could do in the hell tide. These are additional events where all this is going to be like doing the new uh, seasonal event like we had from vampiric tides or vamp ties from season two. And then in this season we have the construct kind of thing, but these are gonna be inside the hell tide themselves. So you're gonna do these little events and then you're gonna get these wolf's honor on top of it, right? You're gonna get this wolf's honor and you're gonna be able to do the assist the iron wolves, which is just these little events that are gonna earn you grim favor. However, the thing that's awesome about these is that they're gonna earn you dis dis <laughs> disgusting boxes, right? So with reputation rewards and caches, uh, you're going to be able to get these disgusting boxes that drop on the certain events, right? And they directly mention the mind cage rare elixir. So a suspicious bin containing a collection of mind cages. Surprisingly, nobody is stopping you from taking it. So it is assumed it is it appears that you're going to be able to get these these boxes, which are going to give you the mind cages. And then you're literally just going to farm the hell tides over and over and over again. The only thing we don't know is how many you're going to get on the drops. But I mean, this is just a game changer because for me, I don't know about you guys, but doing doing normal dungeons or even nightmare dungeons for that matter, like besides getting glyph XP, right? You want to get glyph XP when you're going in to do your... Uh, not P, sorry, skills, nope, A, your Paragon board. Like, besides getting Glyph XP, there's no reason to do Nightmare Dungeons. In my humbling opinion, the only other reason to do the Nightmare Dungeon is to get the, what are they called? The, uh, the little vials here for to go fight Beast in the Ice, right? It's to go get the little vials. Because once you do level, uh, you know, Nightmare Dungeons that are high enough, you can get the little Distilled Fears, which you can summon the Beast in the Ice, right? That's the only other reason to do Nightmare Dungeons besides Glyphs. That's it. And more importantly, now that they've changed and increased the drop rate of all of these items that you can get for bosses in other content whether it's open world, normal dungeons, nightmare dungeons, the pit, uh, killing any elites in the game, you probably really don't have to spend too much time in nightmare dungeons. However, if you want to specifically farm just for Beast in the Ice, nightmare dungeons are the best. The higher level you do, the more you get of the disfilled fears at the end. But in the meantime, hell tides are going to be your best bet. All right, especially when you're starting off, all the leveling builds are going to be able to smack them in the face. It's going to be super easy to do. And the fact that we can get these these profane mind cages are ju it's just really really nuts to see that the the mind cages just give you such a buff cuz see you can see that they're level 103 monsters. So they're only 3 levels higher than you. So when you're leveling, that's a lot of XP. So then when you go in here and you're going to make them 10 levels higher and then the increase cinder drop rate and threat gain that means you're going to be fighting the density of the mobs are just going to be so great it's going to be so much better than doing anything else in the game 
So uh, this is also going to be really great to kind of rack these up for alt characters. You rack up a bunch of profane mind cages, you get them to world tier three, and then you just pop these like crazy. You're going to be able just to farm an insane amount of loot. So again, big shout out to Wildhead and my community, Demon and everybody else for showing me the profane mind cage. I went back and I had to watch the devs because they mentioned it and I just was like completely lost in the sauce. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be nuts, guys. This is going to be the best way to level in Season 4. So, make sure to like the video. Let's get this thing over 50 likes as a goal. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.